Well, it had to happen. WWE have finally joined the ranks of Bejeweled, Bubble Witch Saga and my old nemesis, Candy Crush Saga, in a game they have chosen to call... WWE Champions. The concept couldn't be more simple. Match three pieces to advance in the game, and as you're doing that, you have little animations of your character beating up their opponent. Keep in mind that unlike the other games, this is actually a turn-based game. So once you've finished your move, your AI-controlled opponent will have a go. The person who wins is the one that gets enough colour combos that it triggers a pinning animation. This can be quite tricky. One thing to note, and it's covered in the tutorial, is that you have a bunch of extra options too that give your character the advantage, and that includes things like signature moves, or just something heavy hitting like a suplex or DDT. The roster itself holds a nice chunk of characters, including the likes of AJ Styles, Roman Reigns, Bray Wyatt, John Cena, Batista, Big Boss Man, Jericho, Booker T, Undertaker, Lesnar, DDP, Ambrose, Bret Hart, Seth Rollins, Jake Roberts, Goldberg, Randy Savage, HBK, Kevin Owens, Ric Flair, Orton, The Rock, Triple H, Ziggler, Big Show, Austin, Daniel Bryan, The Miz, Andre, and Sting. But what you start with is just The Rock. You unlock little bonus packs and some of which contain new characters. The first I got was Reigns, but as I said before, I believe they unlock in an intentional order. Now the interesting thing is that some of the unlockables are NXT versions of guys like Rollins and, and Reigns. And they actually have different movesets. There is also a shopper cost to purchase power-ups and special packs, one of which cost $100. The game is definitely worth trying, and the more you win, the more you unlock. And you get extra bonuses for beating bosses, which include the likes of Kane, Triple H, Rollins and Neville. I'll be honest, it's a pretty addictive game that takes the influence of all stars in terms of style and breeds it with the games I mentioned previously, and you know what? It's actually pretty fun. In my opinion, it's big enough to keep you entertained, and if you enjoy colour match games, and quite frankly, they're a great way to pass the time. My overall rating is a solid 4 Stevie Richards out of 5.